Hi, I'm Suzanne Agassi. I'm here at Napa River Inn and I'm interviewing John Wyman, Director of Sales. Great to see you. Great to see you. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I've been here before. I've stayed here in the past and I loved it. I had a great experience. Fantastic. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Yeah. I'll come back again too. Please. So this has a lot of history. So tell us a little bit about your hotel's history. This has, this has great history. Uh, the building we're in actually was built in 1884 mm -hmm. by a gentleman named um, Admiral Hatt and uh, Admiral of the Navy. This was a port, uh, mercantile, uh, feed store. Um, we have silos out back. So this was kind of a hub in the late 1800s, mm -hmm. early 1900s, and had a great history. And then kind of times changed and this sat vacant for many years. When I first came to Napa, this was um, just a, a rundown building. And we had a great visionary owner who uh, turned this into this beautiful historic inn. So it has 66 rooms. 66 rooms. And when did it open? We opened in uh, 1990, mm -hmm. about 15 years now. Yeah, and you have a very dedicated clientele. Oh, we do. Yep. It's tremendous. Right. Um, the return guests, um, and the property's a little unique in the 66 rooms. Uh, the building we're in has seven historic rooms, very romantic, very classic, clawfoot tubs. We have another wing, uh, the Embarcadero, mm -hmm. same with the nautical feel. Mm -hmm. That's, I Admiral, stayed in the nautical. Keep Admiral mm -hmm. Hat happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, a new swing on the plaza, uh, river views, some more contemporary rooms, uh, much more current. Mm -hmm. And our guests just love their little sections of the property. It's like a grew up Embarcadero room, historic room right. made to be over in the Embarcadero. So, so you get requests for all of them. and. They we love do. their certain we special do. spots we do. and special and our, rooms. And our staff remembers them. They have a great, uh, we have a tremendous service staff here, great tenure. So guests come back, they greet them by name, yeah. which the guests are just, just blown away by. Yeah, you don't see that every day. And Forbes no. magazine just gave you a huge yes. four-star review. Thank you. And Thank I, you. Yeah. Four-star. Uh, we're very happy. Um, thrilled about it and uh, looking forward to yeah. more. And mainly that was the staff. Our owner and management, it's like a family. They treat everyone that way, so we to treat our guests that way. Um, and again, the service level is beyond compare in the valley. Fantastic. So what what else is going on here? What's any... well, it's busy. Um, you know, it's uh, we were talking the other day, and someone said, "Whatever happened to the slow season?" I said, "Oh, it's gone. Isn't that okay. a good thing?" Um, we're a pet-friendly hotel. You know, we treat our guests as VIPs. We also have a VIP, very important pet program. <laughs> Great. And they get pet amenities, a little bed, little treats. Um, our front staff will even get to know uh, the guests and what their dog's name is. And there's a little chalkboard out front that says, you know, welcome. Oh, wow. So Fido. they feel special, welcome. too. Yeah. So oh, yeah. furry friends. And is it cats and dogs, or do you have any exotic primarily animals? No, not, <laughs> not that we know of. Uh, <laughs> right. Right. Yes. Like uh, primarily dogs and cats. Wow. They're pet friendly. St. So. Bernard friendly. Yeah, I haven't seen a great Dane yet, but we've seen some pretty wow. good sized collies and such come through. Well, that's great, especially for people traveling far away or just people in the Bay Area that just want to get away. You know, San Francisco, Oakland, they just want a, oh, an yeah. overnight or two, and it's pet friendly. That's great. Yeah, that's part of yeah. their family, so we welcome them. Here's our family. Very nice. And then are you affiliated with any of the restaurants or do you have some? No, we've got, um, the inn itself is freestanding here, but we've got great little hamlet, like I like to call it a little village here mm -hmm. at the historic Napa Mill. We have an incredible French bistro, Angel. Oh, I love Angel. Uh, right behind us is one of my favorites, Celadon. Mm -hmm. Chef Greg Cole is amazing. Um, Both of those are Sweetie standard. Pie's Bakery, which I don't know if you've been in there, but it's a reason to join a gym. <laughs> um, they do breakfast for our guests every morning, which is delivered, you know, breakfast in bed. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a great vintage sweet shop, and then we are now have Silos, which is our music lounge, great. which is a great new venue. Yeah, Angel and Celadon have been there a long time, but so guests can just stay here and they can just stroll on the Napa waterfront. Oh, exactly. And it's just lovely. You they can. To. You don't have to even drive. No, you can just you be right downtown, and you can spend a couple of days right here on mm -hmm. property, yeah. or right down Main Street yeah. is everything downtown Napa has to offer. Mm -hmm. Shopping and. Oh, you yeah. have shopping, you have gourmet dining, world-class wine yeah. tasting, some great entertainment venues. Perfect. Absolutely. Great. Yeah, well, we're, we're so happy to meet with you today and hear more about what your hotel is offering. Oh, pleasure. It's, yeah. a, it's a beautiful property. I've been fortunate enough to be in the Valley for 30-some-odd years now. It 
some other different properties, but always had a little soft spot for Napa River Inn. Great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Okay. Thank you for coming back. My pleasure. Be back again. Excellent.